Hello, dearie. Welcome to my vampire lair. I'm sorry that I that you were feeling weak, but well, I had to drain you of your life source. Well, you know, I had to drink your blood. I mean, I am a vampire. What to expect? So, I'm sorry I had to kidnap you, but it was the Count Dracula's orders. I am, of course, how rude of me. I didn't introduce myself, dearie. I am. One of Count Dracula's brides. My name is Katharina. I'm one of the good. I'm one of the oldest vampires. I'm one of... Count Dracula's oldest wives. Theory. So, who might you be, theory? Oh, what a lovely, what a beautiful name, theory. I mean, not as beautiful as mine, but then again, theory. What do you expect? So, I'm sorry I had to kidnap you, but, well, the Count Dracula wanted you for something. I don't exactly know. I'm not the Count Dracula. But, I'm, it was very hard to, uh, well, very hard to uh, kidnap you. I mean, you humans, you tend to squirm and struggle a lot, dearie. And well, we can't have that. Oh, what is this, dearie? Oh, yes, this is my life. This is a stone. It's the most powerful stone, dearie. I always keep it with me. I mean, I have this stone, of course. But it doesn't do a lot of good, dearie. So... You... really want to know about me. Van Helsing, dearie? Van Helsing can't save you. I mean, where is your precious Van Helsing here to save you? It's not your daddy. He can't save you. No, he can't. I mean, I used to have a thing for Van Helsing before, when I was such a young girl, like yourself. I was so fascinated, dearie. Then, the Count Dracula showed me a lot of new things, dearie. Things that will really expand your mind, dearie. So, dearie, you really want to know, dearie, that about my life story? And how I became vampire. I mean, after all, you're not really going anywhere, dearie. You're staying here. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry, dearie. Did I scare you there? Oh, don't cry. Don't scream. Shh. You can't have the Count Dracula hearing you. He doesn't even know I've got you yet. Shh, don't even scream, dearie. I know I, I'm a vampire. I tend to scare my guests. So where are my manners? Well, you really want to know my life story, dearie. Well, I will tell you. Oh, it's getting hot in here. I shouldn't be near sunlight. It kind of burns my skin. <laughs> uh, 
I must go where there is darkness. I never knew there was... It was the daylight outside. No matter, dearie. But anyway, you really want to know my life story. Well, when I was such a young girl, dearie, I became a vampire. But it was a very long process. And I was only such a young girl, dearie. I, my parents died, dearie, when I was such a young girl, and that was like a wound to my heart. And well, I felt very distressed. I felt like I didn't have any life's purpose, dearie. It was, my life was such a mess, dearie. And well, I bumped into Van Helsing, Mr. Van Helsing, you know, the vampire hunter, the one that you're talking about. And well, I found out he was a vampire hunter, and that he just, he kills vampires with holy water and that weapon he kind of uses. And I am an original vampire. I hate the sunlight. And I don't like crucifixes or stakes, so if you have any crucifixes, dearie, please stay away from me. I mean, what is that on your neck? Is that a crucifix, dearie? Oh no, it's just a regular cross. But still, if you have any crucifixes, dearie, I would advise you to step away from me, because I don't like them. But I meant Van Helsing, and well, a lot of things happened, and I fell in love with him at such a very young age. And well, then I came across, then I just felt like I didn't have a purpose, Harry. And well, my heart was broken after Van Helsing ripped it out of my chest. And then I came across the Count Dracula, and he promised me a value of happiness. And well, he turned me into a, a vampire. And here I am. I'm one of the oldest vampires, as I've lived a long, long time, dearie. But... Don't let that scare you. I mean, I do scare my guests. But try not to scream. It would only hurt a lot more if you scream, dear. So, I'm sorry I had to drain you of your blood, but it was the only way I could survive. I mean, you are growing weak. It I hope I didn't wake you or anything. I mean, you didn't have any nightmares about... Oh. Where are you, dearie? This is the vampire lair. This is Count Dracula's lair. It's not very freaky, I know. But we're working on that. We're working on the scariness, dearie. So... I'm getting quite hungry, dearie. I mean, I hope that you don't die. I mean, if you do die, we'll probably just bury you. And we won't even care. But anyway, this stone, dearie, is a precious stone. It gives me unbelievable powers that the Count Dracula doesn't know about. But you won't tell him, will you? I mean, you can't. I mean, there's nowhere to run, dearie. You're locked in this place for a very, very long time. <laughs> well, would you mind if I drunk, if 
I sucked your blood again. I'm getting quite hungry and I can smell the blood on you. I can feel it rushing through your veins and I can feel your heartbeat. It's beating very fast. Are you scared of me, dearie? Don't be scared. It's only natural. I mean, I was scared when I had... When I got bit... When I got turned into a vampire for the first time. But then I thought, you'll get used to it. The pain starts at first, but then it subsides and you feel pleasure. Unbelievable pleasure. So let me just drink your blood. I'm getting quite hungry and you are a human. You are a human, right? Yes. Yes. Well. Oh. Shh. Don't. Don't scream, Terry. It's okay. I'm not. This isn't going to hurt you. If you squirm any less, then I will just make it more painful for you. Do you hear me? Okay. Well. I guess I must drink you. I mean, if you die, we'll just bury you in the back yard. We have this evil cemetery. It would be suitable for you, dearie. Don't you think? Okay. Let me just drink you. <laughs> So tasty, dearie. Well, I guess I better leave you. That is all for now. But enjoy your stay here. It would be quite pleasant, dearie. You will like it very much. Good night, sweet dreams, dearie.